Hi, my name is Craig Prawl. I'm one of the community leaders in Verizon's forums, which you find at forums.verizon.com. I'm uh, going to talk today about replacing the battery backup unit battery in the Fios equipment that I have with a standard uninterruptible power supply, or UPS. Um, one of the reasons you might find yourself wanting to do this is because, uh, at least according to the Fios website, uh, the battery backup unit only provides backup power for the phone service, for the landline phone service. Uh, what several of us have found in practice is that actually it does provide backup power for the internet and Fios TV service for a few minutes if a power goes out, but after that, the ser that services are cut off, or those services are cut off, and only the uh, phone line remains uh, active. Uh, another issue that you have is that after a few years, these batteries in these units go bad. So you find out you have to replace them, and you know that whenever the replace battery light comes on. It'll also start beeping every so often uh, to let you know that the battery has failed. And at that point, it's time to uh, decide whether or not you want to replace the battery or come up with another solution. And since I really wanted to back up my internet uh, more than anything else, uh, especially since I don't have a landline any longer, uh, what I've done instead was remove the battery in this unit and connected the unit itself to a standard uh, UPS. And what I'm going to show you next is uh, how, to, how the batteries are moved and just you know, simply you know, how I silence the alarm and how I connect it to the UPS. Okay, so the first thing you do is remove the battery cover. And to do that, you take a flathead screwdriver, push up on the two tabs that are at the bottom of the unit where they're actually marked tab. Once that's a little bit free, you can reach in and pull the, unit off, or pull the cover off the uh, battery. That exposes the 12 volt battery that's underneath. This is a standard 12 volt battery that pretty much all UPSs use this. The uh, battery backup unit uses the same 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 thing. Uh, you get it out by pressing on the little white tabs that are on either side of the battery that are holding it in place. So just kind of start with the left tab, press a little bit on the white tab, pull out the battery a little bit, a couple of times, and you can pull the battery right straight out. Once the battery is free, you need to take the two leads off the top of the battery, the red one and the black one. And you can set the battery aside. What you're going to notice is the uh, replace battery light comes on. And I certainly do need to replace the battery now because there's not one in there. Um, and what will also happen is the alarm, the unit will start to beep uh, periodically if you don't press the silence alarm button, which is right here. Now I found out that I don't have to press that more than once, it seems. Even if the power goes out, uh, I haven't had to press that button again. I've never heard the beeping since then. So I replace the cover. And one thing to mention at this point, this is a good time to think about what you're going to do with the battery that you just took out if you're not going to use it anymore. Uh, you can take it to Best Buy. If your community has a hazardous waste day, you can take it there. Uh, I take it to the shop where I actually buy uh, batteries because they recycle the uh, used ones themselves. So the unit itself is plugged, the white plug there, is plugged into a standard uh, APC UPS. I think it's a APC 750 back UPS. And it goes for about $60 in uh, Best Buy. Uh, that will power this unit for a little over uh, half an hour, uh, by some, somewhere in that area. So that's what this white plug is. Uh, the black plug there actually powers something that I'll talk about in a later video that I use to get co uh, Ethernet over coax. But the white plug now uh, powers the 24 volt adapter. It's I think it's uh, AC adapter from 112 to 24 volt. So this is what I ended up with uh, after I've taken out the battery and used a UPS in its place. I have the UPS powering the battery backup unit, which is still there. It's still needed because it, it powers the ONT on the outside of my house. Uh, one thing I should mention is that there are quite a few different models of the ONT and battery backup unit. Some, unit, some ONTs don't even have a battery backup unit. Uh, what you can do is go to Verizon's website at the link that's shown at the top of this video. Find your specific unit, and there will be pictures on uh, how to remove the battery if you have one from your unit. Uh, if you don't have a battery, then that's even better. You just simply find a U buy a UPS, plug your unit into that, and you're good to go. And at any rate, this is all. I hope you have enjoyed the video, and I hope you learned something.